Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to Wednesdays with Larawana. Every Wednesday right here on CanawanaBuy.com, we bring you the latest information on adult use and medical marijuana from all over the globe. This week, mild strength marijuana is the future of pot. And this is from blog.sfgate.com on the Smell the Truth page. Think of it as Bud Light. Despite the police headlines about increased potency, the legal marijuana landscape is actually becoming more mellow and mild thanks to the influence of moderate mainstream consumers as well as state regulations. These mild pot products now include mints that pack a barely noticeable body buzz and unwind stress, pre-rolled joints with the strength of a craft beer, and topical rubs that zap shoulder pain without any high or danger of failing a drug test. All three categories are taking marketplace share in California, Colorado, Washington, and other states with medical and adult use cannabis laws. While the media cannot get enough stories about how potent pot can be, upwards to 30%, the real innovation is in the light and ultra light sector, which appeals to far more consumers. It's kind of like Everclear. Everyone knows it exists, but who sits down with a bottle of Everclear on a Friday night to get some relaxation? said Amanda Ryman, as people become more sophisticated in their use of this kind of thing will peter out. Only a tiny fraction of population consumes cannabis daily, develops a tolerance to its effects, and a taste for super potent pot. Daily heavy users, combined with higher black market profits for more potent bud, have driven production values up until legalization. Ironically, legalization has created room in the black market for mild marijuana and even no high therapeutic pot. I would ask anybody who says all marijuana is high potency marijuana to go and sit in a well-established dispensary in Colorado or a place like California where it's normalized and see what customers are choosing. They're not choosing the 30% cannabis, Ryman said. Cannabis use spans all income brackets, age groups, and ethnicities. And at the center of the mass market bell curve, does not w the people do not want a brownie with 100 servings of pot in it. Occasional users, older medical users, and regulators are now driving a different set of producers. Colorado's Dixie Elixir watermelon cream drink contains just 5 milligrams of THC, according to Dixie. We're different when we're 40 than we were at 16, said Ryman. As adults, the goal isn't necessarily to be intoxicated. Ryman said California, California's mature medical marijuana market is already full of low-dose options. Best in class, dispensaries carry a range of flowers with a dozen options in the low or no THC category. And there's new products like Stokes Micros, a honey lemon ginger or watermelon flavored mint with 5 milligrams of pot as the main ingredients of THC. Five milligrams is half the legal dose of THC as defined in Colorado. It won't have much effect on the daily smoker, but is sought after by new patients or busy professionals who want a functional buzz. Kevin Reed, founder and operator of the Green Cross in San Francisco, is in the middle of a major project to revamp its IncrediMeds uh, edible line to include smaller dose edible products like a 10 milligram chocolate bar. The Green Cross also recommended in January that, San, that the San Francisco Department of Health cap edibles uh, the dosage at 150 milligrams. Times are changing and we are able to do much more with product testing, Reed wrote. Now, how to buy mild marijuana. These are the uh, top five ways to buy mild marijuana. Number one, look for the THC levels. Whether in a medical or recreational marijuana state, cannabis flowers, extracts, or infused products should be lab tested and labeled with the amount of THC, which is the main active ingredient in cannabis, often in milligrams or as a percentage of the dry weight of the flower buds. Number two, limit foods to five milligrams. Colorado recommends no more than five milligrams of THC for a novice user. That's just one of those Stokes mints or a Kiva espresso bean. Number three, or avoid infused uh, food products altogether. THC food is hard to titrate because effects can take 90 minutes to two hours to be felt, with the exception of cannabinoids absorbed through the mouth, 
which has an onset measured in minutes. Edible effects can last anywhere from six to eight hours. Effects can also be uh, varying by body type, metabolism, and when you ate your last meal. By contrast, inhaled cannabis effects can be felt in seconds. Number four, for flowers, go for low THC, high CBD. Cannabis flowers can test up to 25% THC, way too strong for the occasional consumer. Look for tested flowers that contain low amounts of THC, like anywhere from 3 to 10%. Also, look for flowers high in CBD, the, most, the second most common active ingredient in marijuana. Anywhere from 5 to 10% CBD is great, as CBD counters the euphoric effects of THC and can decrease anxiety. And number five, consider vaping. It's counterintuitive, but a potent extract of cannabis, like an oil, paired with a vaporizer pen, allows for small micro-dosing with an onset of effects measured in seconds. It's much tougher to overshoot your tolerance. Many vape pens come with anti-abuse circuitry that engages after a few seconds of battery use. By contrast, when puffing on a joint, people often feel pressure to smoke the whole thing to avoid wasting it. Don't forget, uh, every Wednesday right here on Canawana Buy, it's Wednesdays with Larawana. And check out Canawana Buy's great products, fast shipping, and great prices. Peace and love, everybody. Peace and love. Don't forget my weekly medical marijuana radio show every Saturday night, 7 p.m. Mountain, 9 on the east, 6 on the west coast. Be there. Peace and love, everybody. Peace and love.